You're watching TVC News at 10. Delta State Government is still asking those living along flood-prone areas to temporarily relocate to camps set up for internally displaced persons. Well, this is coming days after flooding killed three children and destroyed property in a community in that state. Director General of the State Orientation Bureau, Eugene Uzum, restated the stance of government while commiserating with families of the victims. Correspondent Ikin Amichi tells us more. After warning by the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, the Delta State Government set up a committee to educate people on the imminent flooding. According to the DG of the State Orientation Bureau, every nook and cranny of the state was reached with the message of what to do if the flood comes. But unfortunately, some residents did not heed to the directive. First of all, uh, we commiserate uh, 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 with the families of the, uh, the bereaved. It's quite unfortunate. Uh, but we can assure you that Delta State Government has moved proactively not only to create the needed IDPs to cater for those that are coming out from the River Rhine, but at the same time we have special needs of some communities that may not be able to move into IDPs. As the rains continue to pour down and the flood level keeps rising, the Delta State Government is still carrying out the campaign to sensitize residents of flood-prone areas to relocate to the five IDP camps. The sensitization continues, even where the flood water is moving. The sensitization continues. Our people are still moving from one location to the other, still calling out those that are left in the river and to move to government IDP camps. The Polobubo community is first to suffer from flooding this year. If the people have relocated to these camps, the casualty may have been averted. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Asaba.